Hello everyone and welcome back to Noia Dev, the series that aims to prove that one developer can create a successful MMORPG. My name is Dane and this week on Noia Dev, we're talking about the tutorial improvements. At the end of the previous devlog, I asked you guys to vote on a very important issue, whether or not Noia should have a quote proper tutorial or not. Well, you guys voted, and it's pretty clear you guys want a tutorial. I have been brainstorming some potential tutorial ideas, and I was thinking of having a different map and tile set that the player would appear in that would have this disembodied voice hey! to teach you everything about the game. But the more I thought about this idea, the more annoying it sounded. Listen. I didn't want to handhold the player through every facet of the game. There are plenty of games that do this, and they are all ridiculed for it. And I really didn't want to make another map just for this. I was then reminded by a few of you guys in the Discord that the Underworld map is meant to serve as the tutorial for the game. This may seem very obvious to you guys, but I was so lost in my own head that I had completely forgotten that simple fact. I got my head back on straight, and I rewatched a few deep dive videos regarding game tutorials, and I took a long hard look at the underworld map, the NPCs, and quests, and I realized what I was doing wrong, and maybe even a feature that I should add to the game to help as well. First thing that I was doing wrong was I was trying to force too many mechanics on the player at once. A good tutorial introduces one mechanic at a time in a controlled environment, and then begins to mix these mechanics mechanics together or introduce variants of said mechanics. I messed up this seemingly simple design task right at the start, specifically with the NPC dialogue. See, the first NPC the player gets to talk to is Dan here. The objective of this area is to get a quest from Dan, get some starter weapons, and leave. In the starting cutscene, Dan tells the player, come here and let me look at you. If the player moves to Dan, they will get to see the press E prompt. This gives the player the chance to move to Dan on their own. If the player attempts to leave early instead, a mini cutscene plays that forces the player back in front of Dan. At this point, the big press E text appears, and hopefully teaching the player that this is how to interact with NPCs. Now, the dialogue system in Noia is a bit more complex than your standard MMO. Specific words or phrases are highlighted and underlined to indicate that the player needs to click these words to move the conversation along. The mistake I made here was I offered multiple dialogue paths for the conversation with Dan right up front. And this was ultimately confusing players, as they would get caught up in an endless dialogue loop, not exactly sure what they were supposed to be doing. Now that conversation with Dan is linear, no more getting lost, and in order to teach players to actually click on the dialogue text, we do a little bit of trolling. Dan's first block of text ends with some bait, the word next is highlighted. Hopefully anyone would see this and think, ah yes! Click next to continue the conversation. Only then Dan scolds the player for telling them it's rude to just reply with the word next. From now on, the highlighted words will appear to be part of the conversation. The next few blocks of dialogue show that the player that these trigger words don't necessarily have to be the final words in the block of text. They can appear anywhere. And the final block of text teaches a lesson as well. Instead of the text being highlighted in yellow, it's highlighted in blue. When the player clicks the blue text, it offers a quest. Ah, different color, different function. Now here's where the new mechanic comes into play. I can now add what I'm calling mini dialogues. In the top right hand corner of the screen, there is now a smaller NPC dialogue box that can appear and display the NPC talking in a short blurb of text. This mini NPC dialogue does not prevent the player from moving or fighting monsters. It's completely passive 
impressive, but most importantly, it allows for an audio clip to be played as well, and the text is synced to the audio. This might sound a bit annoying to some of you. You can absolutely disable the voice audio in the settings menu, but hear me out here. There was a game that I played a long while back called Firefall. Firefall was a fast-paced, over-the-shoulder, run-and-gun type RPG MMO. There were no cutscenes, no walls of text. Instead, every time the player would pick a new mission, you'd get a static NPC image at the top right of your screen, complete with subtitles and an audio clip of the mission breakdown and lore. Because of this little mechanic, I was able to learn the entire story and lore of Firefall through osmosis, basically. Bit by bit, the lore of Firefall would make its way into my brain through these simple little audio clips at the start of each mission. Those audio clips did more for getting me invested into the characters and the world of Firefall than any block of text ever could. And so, Noya is going to have the same thing. I was away this last week in New York for work, but I got a solid couple of hours in while on the plane to get this new system put in. And as of writing this devlog, I have recorded, edited, and published voiced dialogue for all of Dan's text. When the player accepts Dan's quest, they will hear him in the mini dialogue instruct the player that they need to go check out the tomb above them. And in the next round of NPC dialogue, Dan will go over basic functions of the, each weapon type, and then the player will take Dan with them on their adventure. Upon accepting this new quest, the player is told that they should seek out Morb in the camp to the southwest. I can trigger these new mini dialogues in a variety of different ways now, so they don't always have to come from accepting or completing a quest. Like when the player first targets Mungus or Vatra here, the elite mobs in the underworld. Dan will pop up and inform the player about what that skull means in the monster's HP bar. I plan to add a lot more of these mini dialogues into the game for each quest, as well as to instruct on how to craft and cook things in the future. I'm probably going to turn to Fiverr here in the next week looking to get more lines of dialogue recorded. There's a lot of really cool talent out there, but if there's a particular NPC in Noya that you want to voice, shoot me a DM on Discord. I am happy to listen to anything but my own voice at this point. And that's it for this week. I thought I had gotten used to hearing my own voice while doing these devlogs only to have that confidence shattered when I had to start doing voice work. Uh, maybe I'll get used to it, who knows. I've got a lot more dialogue to write for Dan. Uh, he's going to be a very pivotal, important character in the storyline for Noya, so that means I gotta get back to work. So I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>